Once again, welcome to chemistry classes by Vijay Kumar Sethi. In class 12th chemistry, we were discussing about the D and F block elements and in this video, we are going to discuss about atomic and ionic sizes, ionization enthalpies and oxidation states of transition elements. First come to the variation in atomic and ionic sizes of transition metals. In general, the atomic radii of elements of 3D series gradually decrease in radius with an increase in atomic number. That is, if we go from left to right, there is a general decrease in atomic radius. Okay, that is, this general decrease. Reason is, the d orbitals offer poor shielding effect. Hence, the net electrostatic attraction between the nuclear charge and the outermost electron increases and hence atomic radius decreases. The same trend is observed in the ionic radii of a given series. However, the variation within a series is quite small and not systematic because of two opposite effects. Now, what are these two opposite effects? Increase in effective nuclear charge. Actually, D orbitals offer poor shielding effect. Yeah, that's why effective nuclear charge increases and this will result in decrease in size. But at the same time, electron enters D orbital and that's why there is increase in electron-electron repulsion and this repulsion will result in increase in size. Okay, now you can see these are the atomic radius of 3D transition series. This is a decrease age. Generally, this is a decrease age. Okay. But some exceptions are also there. Okay. Like this. This is slight increase. Again, this is a decrease age. So, we can say when size is decreases, effective nuclear charge is dominant. When size is increases, electron electron repulsion is dominant. And now see almost this is almost constant. It means both opposite effects balance each other. Okay, and at the last again you can say it is zinc. Okay, highest atomic radius. All the orbitals are filled. That's why electron electron repulsion is dominant and there is increase in size. You can also see first this is decreases in middle it becomes constant at the end it is increases. When this is in in decreases, we can say effective nuclear charge is dominant. When this is constant, almost constant, we can say both will counterbalance to each other. And when this is increases at the end, it is we can say electron, electron repulsion, electron, electron repulsion is dominant. Now, if we go from top to bottom in a group, how the atomic radius changes? This is a general trend that is if you go from top to bottom in a group atomic radius is increases okay and that's why same there is an increase in a radii from the first to the second series that is from 3d series to 4d series of the elements but the radii of the third that is 5d series are virtually the same as those of the corresponding members of the second series and this is due to lanthanoid contraction you can say from 3d to 4d size is increases but if we go from 4d to 5d almost same size is there okay and reason is lanthanoid contraction now what is this lanthanoid contraction you can say before 5d series that is that we can say before this hafnium or we can say after lanthanum there are 14 elements in lanthanoid series and in that case electron enters n minus 2 f sub c that is 4 f sub cells are filled Okay, and this 4F subcells offer imperfect shielding. That's why effective nuclear charge is more and there is a decrease in size of lanthanoid. Yeah? And this regular decrease in atomic radii of lanthanoid is called lanthanoid contraction. And this is also affected the size of 5D series. Okay. And the net result of the lanthanoid contraction is that the second and the third 
D series exhibit similar radii. For example, zirconium 160 picometer. This belong to the 4D transition series. And hafnium, this is belong to the 5D transition series. Almost same. Even 5D, that is hafnium has a lower atomic radii. This is due to the lanthanoid contraction. And that's why they have very similar physical and chemical properties. Ionization enthalpies. Generally, there is an increase in ionization enthalpy along each series of the transition elements from left to right due to an increase in nuclear charge, which accompanies the filling of inner D orbitals. But at the same time, ionization enthalpy is also affected by the electronic configuration. That is, if half filled and full filled electronic configuration is there, they affect the ionization enthalpy. You can see. This is the first ionization enthalpy of the 3D series. This is generally increases. Generally increases. Some variations are there. This is decreased. This is increased. This is high increase. Again, this is decreased. Okay. This is again this is increases and this is again high increase. So again, we can say in this case, this is having 3D5 4S2 configuration. Stable. That's why removal of an electron is difficult. That's why high ionization enthalpy. In the same case, this is 3D10 4S2, stable configuration. Again, removal of electron is difficult. That's why higher ionization enthalpy. Okay. Now, if we compare the second ionization enthalpy, you can see second ionization enthalpy again increases from left to right. But some exceptions are there. See, this is chromium. This is high increase. Value of second ionization enthalpy of chromium is high compared to vanadium as well as compared to Mn. Okay, what is the reason? We can say that is after losing one electron, chromium Cr plus, and this Cr plus has stable configuration 3D5. That's why to lose electron from this 3D5, it is difficult. That's why chromium as high ionization enthalpy, second ionization enthalpy of chromium is high. In the same way, if we compare this second ionization enthalpy of copper, okay, this is high from nickel as well as from zinc. Reason is because Cu plus have 3D10 configuration which is stable. Now again, if we compare the third ionization enthalpy, this is general trend is again this is increases from left to right, but we can say this is for Mn. That is very high, and for Fe, this is low. The reason is because Fe2 plus has 3d6 configuration. Okay, that's why removal of next electron is easy to get the 3d5 configuration. But Mn2 plus already have 3d5 configuration. That's why removal of one more electron from Mn2 plus. That's why we can say it is third ionization enthalpy of manganese is very high. Because Mn2 plus is already stable. Is that clear? Oxidation state. This is the one characteristic property of transition elements that they show great variety of oxidation states. Or we can say variable oxidation state. The oxidation state of the first row transition metals are shown in this table. And the most common ones are in bold types. See? Most common for titanium is plus 4, for vanadium is plus 5, for chromium is plus 3 and plus 6, for Mn plus 2 and plus 7, for F plus 2 plus 3, for cobalt plus 2 plus 3, for nickel plus 2, for copper plus 2 and zinc for plus 2. Okay. Now again if you observe, the elements which give the greatest number of oxidation states occur in or near the middle of the series. You can say that is Mn, greatest number of oxidation state. You can say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 oxidation states are shown by the Mn, plus 2, 2, plus 7. The lesser number of oxidation states at the extreme ends is due to few electrons to loss or share. For example, scandium and titanium. Scandium only have 3 electrons while titanium have only 4 electrons. That's why they show the lesser number of oxidation state. And at the end, if we say there are many D electrons in copper and zinc, that's why these electrons get paired. Lesser number of orbitals are available to share the electrons. Okay? That is fewer orbitals available in which to share electrons with others for higher valencies. That's why copper and zinc will also show the 
lesser number of oxidation states. In solution, the stability of the compounds or stability of the oxidation state depend upon the electrode potential rather than the ionization enthalpy. Yeah. And electrode potential value depends upon the factors such as enthalpy of sublimation of the metal, ionization enthalpy and hydration enthalpy. The variability of oxidation states which is the characteristic of transition elements arises out of incomplete filling of d orbitals in such a way that their oxidation states differ from each other by unity. Okay, There is a difference of one in the oxidation state for example vanadium second vanadium third vanadium four vanadium five this is in contrast with the variability of oxidation states of non transition elements especially if we compare the oxidation state of p block elements okay where oxidation states normally differ by a unit of two and this is due to inert pair effect in the p block the lower oxidation states are favored by the heavier members okay that is in p block elements if you go down the group lower oxidation state is more stable and reason is inert pair effect but if we compare down the group stability of oxidation state in d block elements then this is opposite how see one example for example in group 6 molybdenum 6 oxidation state tungsten 6 oxidation state are found to be more stable than chromium 6 clear and actually if we see the position of this first chromium then we are having molybdenum and then this is tungsten down the group the stability of higher oxidation state is increases and that's why chromium 6 in the form of a dichromate in acidic medium is a strong oxidizing agent whereas MOO3 molybdenum oxide and tungsten oxide are not oxidizing agent because they show stability of plus 6 oxidation state lower oxidation states are found when a complex compound has ligands now again new term is there what is this ligand the more detail about this ligand and about this complex compound we'll discuss in the next chapter that is coordination compound okay simply you can say these ligands are the species which are capable to donate a pair of electron and form coordinate bond okay these are the ligands and when complex compound has ligands and these ligands capable of pi acceptor character in addition to the sigma bonding it means in case of metal and ligand sigma bond is there but at the same time if some pi acceptor character is also there then in that type of complex compounds lower oxidation state of transition elements are stable for example nickel co4 and FeCO5, the oxidation state of nickel and iron is zero. Is it clear? These are the complex compounds or coordinate compounds, coordination compounds. Okay. I think you have understood. Subscribe my channel to get the new videos. Thank you.